The restaurant actually has been here for seven years. And uh, I own it for almost three years. This is chopped peanut. And we normally put in the noodle, like the tom yum noodle. This is a red chili. And we put it in the basil leaf, cashew chicken. Some people put in the curry to make it hotter. But you know, we normally don't put the red chili in the curry. Sugar basically not for every dish except the noodle. Those tapestries are from Thailand and they are just variety of fabric and uh, we mount it on the wall as well. We try to make the place look clean yet have style. Okay, Nate, so what keeps you going back to Taparos? Okay, first of all, that it's so clean. <laughs> you have no idea how happy that makes me because I don't <laughs> think, I don't think, I think like when you think of like ordering Chinese food or ordering Thai food or going to a Thai restaurant, it's a little paralyzing, especially in the city, because you don't know if it's clean. And this is like so clean. <laughs> it's just clean, Did Amanda. You have a white glove with you? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it totally did. sounds like that, doesn't it? Like I was like if they had beds, I would check to make sure that the mattress <laughs> bounced. No, I'm not like a freak about it, but right. it just makes me really. No, we have happy. an eye for that. Nate is a designer, and he actually just redesigned Spago where I work. So he's an opinion I think we can trust on uh, mm -hmm. what a place really looks like or not if it's really clean. Yeah, I walked in. I had the same feeling. I felt like it was light, airy. And it was like a loft. It was, you know, the floors were, you know, great, nice wooden floors, and it made me think that I wasn't going to feel overfed at lunch. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I went there for lunch, and I hate having too much food at lunch because then the too. rest of your day is just Gross. blown. And um, and I found that in the food as well. You know, it was just very, it was very healthy, light. And um, I have to say that um, I we had the waiter come by, and um, the waiter was just a great guy. I mean, it's I, I had a banter right away. He and I shared the same wash, which you know, <laughs> I thought figure. was exciting. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> Any waiter is going to say to me, four, four weeks before delivering, you look great, is a guy that's going to make my day. So. You do look great, I'd be great, back though. every day. You do? Yeah, you do. Well, yeah. anyway. You're very glowing. You can hardly tell. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. Uh, that's so funny. What makes a server so great for you when you go out to a restaurant, whether it's the Thai place around the corner or to Carlos, like what about a server specific, specifically makes it great for you? You know, I, I, th I think it's a great question because I think a server can make or break your entire experience. It does every time. And, and if I have a server that comes and just has a good personality and smiles and has a little repartee and back and jewelry. forth <laughs> and the same jewelry, I mean, things like that are just added pluses. I think it's just a, you know, a presence that they have. And, or if they come with an attitude, I'm the kind of person that's probably bad, but I'll probably cop the same attitude back and mm -hmm. we end up not liking each other. So I think they really set the tone. Isn't that the scariest situation when you can see, like, in, in the server's eyes that the tip doesn't matter anymore, they just hate you? Yeah. <laughs> it's over then, you know? And I think it, typically it seems like we typically seem to tip the same amount, at least I do, and I'm trying to not do that anymore. If you'll still tip, you know, twenty percent, right. I'm thinking at some point, you know, you hated me, I hated you, I don't want to give you twenty percent. Yeah, BJ, as a server, you must have some pet peeves about customers, things that they do to really like just, you know, drive well, you up the wall. You know, as a server, you are pretty much the ambassador <laughs> for the restaurant, so it's up to you to make them feel welcome and you know, make right. them have a good time. You know, the food, and all, you know, I probably shouldn't say this, but in all actuality, the food could be mediocre, but if your server is any good, you'll love it and you'll go back. I absolutely, absolutely agree. Absolutely. In all my experience, you know. that's the one thing that I always think about and our chefs think about it is that, you know, the food can be the most amazing thing or good or bad, but if the service is not what they expect, then it's right. really going right. to make them not come back. Right. But um, the peanut sauce, can we just get back to that for of one course. second? Okay. Absolutely. The peanut sauce, literally, I could eat on this bouquet of flowers. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's how delicious that, that is to me. And um, there's a girl that I work with named Hillary, and she and I are both completely addicted to the Taparo's peanut sauce. We would eat it, like, on, on a traffic cone. Like, it's so delicious to me, so. Your peanut sauce is a typical Thai dish, and mm -hmm. if they make it a little spicy, it has that addicting flavor to it. Mm -hmm. that... And that was my only problem with the restaurant. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm a huge peanut sauce fan. 
and I'm, I'm all about uh, the Penang New, mm -hmm. the Penang beef mm -hmm. and chicken. And uh, it wasn't, it was, it was mild. It was like, it was PG-13. It, it, was <laughs> it has a rating it really of a PG-13. <laughs> That's the rating. No, but it, you know, I was a, I'm a big fan of spicy food. Yeah. And uh, you know, I go, I eat Thai because they, I know that they can make it spicy. Mm -hmm. They know what they're right. doing when it comes to spicy. And uh, and not that they didn't know what they were doing, but I was expecting spicy, and I, I really got lukewarm. But, you know, it, overall, I thought, I thought that the Thai, the food itself was. Um, was decent. You know, the egg rolls were a standout for me, the chicken egg rolls. Yeah, those but, are amazing to me. But everything I mean, else was kind of run of the mill. Now, I have to agree with you, though. I can, I tend to feel like sometimes Thai restaurants can be a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. You know, no offense to any Thai restaurants out there, but they can all be the same. But this one I really felt was, I, I would absolutely go back, and I'd go back for lunch and for dinner. They liked my favorite. Yay! <laughs> well, kind of. But Nate, this is your favorite, so why yeah. don't you sum it up for us? Okay, maybe I'm a sucker for Windex. <laughs> Granted. That Windex will get you every time. Yeah, it get me every time. <laughs> Sneaks right up on you. Um, no, but truthfully, it is, um, it's, I thought it was fresh food. It's inexpensive, which Thai food to me really should be inexpensive. Right. And, um, and I appreciate the effort that they made for the atmosphere because to me, I think that, that in, it definitely enhances the whole experience. So I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lynn, for you? I say great atmosphere, go there for lunch or dinner, and you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, BJ, what do you think? The food was <clears throat> mediocre, but the atmosphere and, and its cleanliness really sets it apart. And you, you, know, you can go there and feel like you don't need to bring your uh, gloves. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> so. Well, you can find uh, Nate washing the windows over at Zaparo's <laughs> at 1540 North Clark Street in Chicago. 312-712-9900 is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. And the average tab is a little over the $5 mark, but it's $9 without drinks.